Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we will be taking a look at everything that's brand new on the latest software update for Samsung One UI 5.0 with Android 13. Now, I just uploaded a video just about five or six days ago talking about that third software update, and that was pushed off on September 22nd. So let's take a look at all of the updates that have been pushed off, and when is the final release officially being pushed out by Samsung? So originally, Samsung One UI 5.0 was pushed off on August 5th, then that second Second update came out on August 25th, with the third update being September 22nd. And here we are, October 6th, the fourth beta software update. Now, I believe the final push, this should be officially launched or officially finished right around October 15th through October 20th. And that is just a date range that was pushed off by a few different people. I also spoke to a few people that also looks to be the same date range as well. So it looks as if hopefully should be done October 15th through the 20th. Now, before we go Inside of everything that's brand new with the fourth beta software update, I do want to talk about this removal of this feature really fast. So this multi-user feature is a way that you're able to have different profiles of your phone or different modes of the phone. So if you wanted to, on your everyday normal usage basis, this is your device. This is how your phone is set up. It has your applications, your contacts, your photos, your everything. But if you wanted to, you can switch it over into a different profile or mode with a icon that used to sit right here. It was a way you can go inside of a guest mode or use it for significant other maybe a son or daughter, but that has been taken away. So this is one of those things that is sad to see go, but I really hope that maybe in the future it will come back. Even though it states right here that it was taken away on the next beta version, which is what we have now, and the official One UI 5 version due to several issues. So they're talking about the official One UI version. Maybe the initial version is what I'm hoping. I'm hoping it'll come later when Samsung One UI 5 is stable, as well as that, that that uh, multi-user, if they can get that to be stable and come back, that is one of those things I would love to see. It is a part of Samsung's tablets or some of their tablets have it, and it's kind of nice to have two different modes or profiles. So now let's take a look at everything new, a part of this fourth beta software update. So the software update of this version ends in ZVJ2, and this one is just slightly larger than the last one that we just had about a week ago. This one is 1,506 megabytes, and I believe it's slightly larger because it also gives us the updated security patch. So this one does come with the October 1st security patch. We're getting closer and closer to the final product. So here we are, some of the bugs that have been fixed. So they improved that features and recent items can be added and removed in the gallery album. They also fixed the issue, executed the sleep mode automatically. They fixed the issue, occurred vibration sound, beep sound continuously, uh, fixed crash when entering app folder, fixed the, fixed the crash crashed when changing wallpapers, fixed crash in S Pen Air Command, fixed the problem for object eraser not working, fixed vibration feedback not working in home gestures, fixed the frame breaking issue when entering from widget to home, deleted multi-user functions, so that's that big one that we just got done talking about, then other minor bug fixes. Now, I've never ran into any issues of anything that they have been mentioning here. So sometimes when you're running the beta program, you run into problems, people send it in, and if it's uh, you know with multiple people, or maybe if it's a big deal even with one person, they'll go through and make that change. Now let's take a look at the known issues. So when the phone screen is off while DeX is running, a black screen is displayed on the monitor. After receiving the file with quick share, if you try to open it in the receiving pop-up, unable to open file pop-up occurs. The file is received normally. Force close occurs when the filter is selected from the lock screen menu during wallpaper image multi-pack setting. So now that we took a look at a few things that have been written out, how about we just go inside of the gallery? Cause this is kind of one of those areas that we saw some of the changes. So here you can customize the albums tab. So this is basically the albums tab that you can see right here. Uh, this is where you'd be able to take a look at your albums. This is gonna show you just a few of them at the very beginning. Then you can actually select all. And when you select all, this is gonna show you everything that you have. This is just kind of a quick preview of more than likely what you would want to take a look at or open or some of the things that have been recent or one of those Apple albums that you open up all the time. Now, if you wanted to, you can press and hold and you can group some of these together you can move them somewhere else, uh, you can share them, and then you also have more. Instead of more, you have select all, or you can move that entire folder to secure folder. Now, let's say you wanna go through and you group. So you can make a group, and then you can add in however many of those albums together. So it'll show it on this main My Albums or initial page, but you'll still always have 
the view all sitting right over here. Now, another small update that happened, it actually happened with the last update that we did just about a week ago. It reverted the gallery icon back to the original. So if you remember from a couple videos past, uh, talking about the earlier stages of beta, this actually used to be a reversed scheme. So it used to be white border with a red flower. So now they went back to the original, if this is something that you're more used to. It's very small, but I wanted to point that out. Now we're just gonna go through some of these different applications here. We're gonna see if any of these have a newer version. Version. So we already know that gallery should have a new version, but I still like to see when and where these newer versions come. And so we're going to press and hold, take a look at the gallery. Originally, this gallery used to be 14.0.0.0.23. It is now 14.0.0.0.29. So we knew for a fact we did have that newer gallery just because of some of those smaller changes that happened with this update. Now, I also like to take a look at these Samsung homes. This way you can see if there's any changes or updates with the home page, talking about the screen layouts, talking about just any bug fixes, going between different folders, things like that. So with this one, you have your home, what used to be 14.0.0.0.103. This one's 14.0.0.0.133. So definitely a newer version of Samsung One UI Home is sitting there. We're gonna take a look at the camera. So I didn't read anything new with the camera with this update, but it's still you know good to see if there is a new version or not. This one originally used to be 13.0.0.0.87. This is now 13.0.0.0.95. So we do have a newer version of the Samsung camera. Uh, now let's take a look at Samsung messages. Now I don't use Samsung messages. I always use Google messages. I just find it to be a little bit better. When it comes down to Samsung messages, it used to be 14.0.0.0.8.1. It is now 14.0.10.3. So definitely a newer version of Samsung messages going on inside of there. Maybe some updates with the keyboard, maybe small little bugs that used to be there from before. So I don't know if you guys use Samsung Wallet. I am a big fan of Samsung Wallet. I always have this thing with a couple different, uh, you know, membership cards, a couple credit cards, so you can make payments wherever you go, get into all the places you need to be if you don't want to carry your big key ring car set in with you. Uh, but that has been pretty much every single thing a part of this update here. We took a look at everything. Again, there's an updated version of gallery that's probably the biggest one with this update as well as taking away multi-user again i'm really hoping that it will come back let's let's just kind of all you know write to samsung go on twitter do whatever we can to have them bring it back get it all fixed out once samsung when ui 5.0 has been officially launched maybe once everything is all stable and pushed out they can work on it again and then send it off with another update in the future but hopefully you guys appreciated this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe subscribe on the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and I'll see you guys later.